What's going on everybody, Dato Doi here with another video covering Dragon Ball Legends. For those of you that don't know, Dragon Ball Legends is a gacha style mobile game with a hard focus on PvP. Although the game isn't released quite yet, there have been two playable betas, both of which I've participated in, and because I made a video breaking down the game's mechanics and my hopes for the game, as well as some of my concerns for it, I've decided I should probably do an update video and talk about how the betas have left me feeling on the game as a whole. Let's go ahead and start out by covering some of the positives. The biggest one being that visually the game looks fantastic. In game the graphics are very smooth and it's easy to tell what's going on on screen and it's very easy to find yourself getting excited when you time a dodge well or even when you're in a close match with a friend. The music and overall style of the game are also very easy on the eyes and the user interface is also super easy to use. After a short tutorial you should have everything down. And before we move on from talking about the visuals of this game for too much longer, I really do want to mention the opening for this game. I mean seriously, the opening for this game is amazing and I'm not talking about amazing for a mobile game. This game's opening is actually just fantastic. I could actually see this being the opening for Dragon Ball Fighters. it looks that good. I won't show you the full opening in this video, but I will show you this one short clip that really highlights the quality. You should definitely go and check out the full video on YouTube. Dude, are you kidding me? Talk about bringing the heat for a mobile game. That was insane. All right, and the last topic for the visuals is that the art for these cards looks absolutely stunning. I think that's pretty clear, so I won't stay on this topic for too long. As far as other positives go that aren't inherently visually related, I would say that the story mode for this game has piqued my interest. As far as we know, it features at least three original characters so far, and as long as they keep the feel that the missions in the beta had, I think it should be an interesting experience for at least a first time playthrough. I also enjoy the gameplay changes from Dokkan as I feel much more invested in these missions than I ever did in any events in Dokkan. The way the duplicate system works for characters and how they level up in general is also really refreshing and I actually really like it. The characters also have access to really interesting abilities so far, such as Super Saiyan Goku getting a boost if Krillin on your team faints. I think that stuff would make for really interesting teams in PvP and events, and I really like that. I hope they continue to expand on this concept. And for our last positive, I do want to say that as of right now, the game seems pretty free to play friendly, but I don't want to stress this point too hard as it's still very early on, and for all we know, the well that is the premium currency right now could really dry up over time. And now that I've gotten my positives out of the way, let's move on to the negatives portion of this video. And really, I'm just going to keep this very focused on my biggest issue, and that being that the gameplay can be pretty clunky sometimes, especially when you're trying to play more defensively. All you really have is the option to dodge attacks, which already kind of feels clunky enough, but at best it's serviceable. What really aggravates me is the fact when you get hit, there is no way to escape from the combo, and there's also just not a dedicated block function where maybe you would take a little bit of damage, but if you didn't want to run the risk of dodging and failing, then you could just block and take some chip damage. They don't even have that as an option, so what it leads to is that most of my games were played very defensively, waiting for the other person to make a mistake so that you could dodge and just kill him with one combo. Other than that, the movement from side to side was okay, but I found it really taxing to try to move forward, especially when it can be so punishing as you don't have a block button, so if you're moving forward and don't have enough time to dodge, then you're eating a lot of damage from your opponent. I'm really hoping that the movement gets ironed out at least a little, and that getting used to it will solve the rest of the issues for me. Other than that, my only other complaint would be that the summoning animation, while really good looking, so if they could shorten that down by 2-3 to three seconds, I think that would be pretty ideal. And I would also love to see the people fighting on screen change with different banners, just a little touch, but I think it would really make summoning a lot more fun. But that's pretty much my thoughts after playing both of the betas for Dragon Ball Legends. I still really enjoyed my time with this game, and would love to hear your thoughts on it if you got to play any of the beta, or just your thoughts on what you've seen so far. Please leave me your comments on that down below in the comments section. And while you're down there, if you like this video and enjoy the channel, hit that like button and subscribe. I'm Dr. Udoya, and I'll see you in the next video.